Hello everyone. This is Wanda. I am currently a customly product designer. Today's video will talk about the basic knowledge of layer and layout, including how to add and copy layers and layout. Here, I just created a new template in Customly. And uh, so, what is layer? As you can see, there is a layer title here, and below that, you list a lot of types of buttons like text box, curved text, image placeholder, dynamic image. All of them are layers. So, um, for example, if I want to create a dynamic image, here you can see there is a placeholder here. This is one layer, and the name of this layer is image selection one. And the ID of this layer is ID1. And for dynamic image, of course, you could pick a library. For example, I just pick this one. And as you can see, by switch to options, you could change this, um, the image in the library that is linking to the template. OK. So you could also change the layer's name. For example, I want to name it as woman back body woman back sure, like that and you can also change the id the id one could be changed in here element id you could change it to two or three but usually you won't need to do that okay and uh, for example you want to create a new layer you want a text body for example this uh this people's name you want to name it as uh uh woman name okay and then the text you can change it here like the name is ali of course you could change the size so does this one you can change the size so here we have two layer here one is a text um text size text type another is dynamic image type um, this is what's called layer. The next question is, what is layout? Here, I just uh, clean all the layer here. And uh, I'm going to create a lot of layer here. Um, so totally six layer. By the way, the text box and dynamic image are most likely the most often use the layer that you will select in the future okay create six layers here and just uh, put them in different positions totally six so what if i want that customers could choose if they want to only show layer one or layer two or layer three or layer four or only show five only show layer six i could use layout to achieve this goal you can see if you select one layer there is a create layout option show up and you just uh, click this one and notice there's a layout being created and the layout contain one layer, which is the image section one. Mm -hmm. And do the same thing to this section two, selection two. So two layer total. And then if you just uh, only choose the layout one, you will notice the layout two disappeared. And if, I, if we apply these two every layers, As you can see, if I was chosen this layout, only the things in this layout will show up. If I choose this one, same, only the things in this layout will show up. And that also apply to um, the option set. So if you want to achieve this kind of effect, you're going to use layout. And of course, layout could contain more than one layers. For example, um, I just see create some I just will simply duplicate this layer and 
and I kind of change the position of it. See, so here it total contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven layer in this layout. And same happened if you go to another layout, you won't see the previous seven layer showing in this image. That is layout. Okay, um, after introducing what is layer and layout, next thing I want to introduce is how to add and duplicate layers. About adding layers, I have actually showed you before. Like, you just thinking what type of layer you want and just click it. And then if you want more, just keep click it. Okay. Then, about how to duplicate, um, there is a two way. First, for example, if you want to duplicate this layer, uh, a dynamic image type layer named the image selection one, you could use the building function, which is called duplicate here. Click it, and there is a new layer showing on the list. It's named as uh, image selection one clone. And the, notice the ID is also one. So for example, If I link it to um, woman top, So for example, if I link this one to a uh, woman body library, and this one also woman body library, but what I mean is they're, they're kind of, there are two persons showing in the whole image. And then um, if they're same ID, what will happen is when user choosing, for example, is this one is the person two. This one is person one. When user choosing person one's body color, the skin color, the person two skin color will also correspondingly changed because they have the same ID. And it's not related to what library you are chosen. I could pick up another library like uh, um, men hairstyle, and then like a singer like this. Um, in the option set part, if the user are choosing um, person one skin color, this option as option, they choose option two, which is related to uh, link to this image. Um, the person two's person two layers option will also correspondingly change to option two. So you will showing this image, but they will show together. That's usually not what we want. So what we expect is, if you are using the duplicate function, remember to change the ID. Like, you, since the maximum three, you change it to four. Mm. Something like that. Another way to do duplicate layer is just simply use Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So I just click Ctrl C, now Ctrl V here. Person one clone showed up, but good thing is id changed id increased so if you're using ctrl c and ctrl v method the id will automatically automatically increase so you won't have any repeat id so like the problem i mentioned before will disappear good that's about um adding and duplicate duplicating layers okay the next thing I want to share is how to duplicate layout. As you can see, I have just created a layout which contains person one clone. And then you can notice if I was here, um, if I was here, select a person two. The duplicate building function are still here but if I was chosen this layout this one will disappear although if you were chosen person one clone 
this duplicate will uh, still exist. And if you do that, um, a new cloned person one will show up inside this layout. Blend, since there is not duplicate function here, how do we, you know, duplicate the layout? What you could do is to steal Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Okay, I just click Ctrl C and Ctrl V, and then new layout shows up here. And good thing, still good thing is, um, the ID will automatically increase. So you don't need to manually change the ID. The last thing I want to introduce is how to duplicate layers group. So this is a blank template. I just add several, let's say add three layers here. And if I want to duplicate all of them, I, you could you could do is uh, press the shift and choose all of them. Then one way is click duplicate and then you know a duplicated version of these uh, selections will shows up and notice like the ID is not changed and somehow the other will reverse like it used to be one two three but it's now three two one and you mostly you don't want this because like the other showing in the layers means the other that's showing in the pictures so for example if this one are linking to um, a woman body then maybe okay let's say the number two is linking to the woman body and the number three is linking to we choose a hairstyle uh, okay this is the image and then same thing happened. Three is the hairstyle. And then a two is image, is, is the body. If this is the other here, this is selection two, this is selection three. And you could notice the hair image is under the body image, which is you don't want this. So what you're gonna do is if you're using this building duplicate function, you're gonna duplicate it again. And then you know the other reverse again is the order you want. Okay. That's one way to duplicate. Um, your layers group. Another way is same here, click one and then um, select, uh, press shift, hold on the shift and then choose uh, image selection three. And then instead of using this building duplicate function, you're gonna do control C, control V, and yes, the other changed. And another good news is the other, uh, the ID also changed, the ID increased. And yeah. so most likely I recommend everyone to use Ctrl C, Ctrl V instead of this building function. This is everything today. Thank you for watching. And do uh, send me a comment below this video if you have any questions.